Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install Minecraft Launcher on your Xbox app or if you are unable to install it on Microsoft Store. And if you are receiving this error code, that is 0x80073D0D. So if you are receiving this error code, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer. So on the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. So make a right click on date and time and then click on adjust date and time. Now make sure set time automatically is on over here. In Windows 10, you will find set time zone automatically. Make sure that is also on. In Windows 11, select the right time zone from here and then click on sync now. And once the sync is done, now try to install the launcher. Also make sure the region is correct on the computer. So make sure right country is selected over here. Now install launcher. Also make sure that you're logged in with same account on Microsoft Store and with same account on Xbox app. For this, open Microsoft Store. On the top right here, you can see a profile icon. Click on it, then click on sign out. Then click on sign in. Select the right account, then click on continue. Now enter the pin or password. Now once logged in, open Xbox app. Again on top right here, you can see your profile icon. Click on it, then click on sign out. Again click on the profile icon, then click on sign in. Select the same account which you have selected on Microsoft Store and then click on Let's Play and now you can try to install the launcher. Now the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. For this, go to the Start menu. Click on Settings. Now go to Windows Update or Update and Security and then click on Check for Update. Now once the update is installed, restart your computer and then try to install the launcher. Now the next step is to use Store Library. So open Microsoft Store on your computer and then go to Library. Now in the list over here, if you find Minecraft Launcher, in front of Minecraft Launcher, you will find the Install option. So find Minecraft Launcher in the list and if you see the install option, install it from Microsoft Store Library. Now the next step is to run this PowerShell command. This command is provided in the video description. So type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you're opening PowerShell as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time. Now during this process, you will receive some errors in red color. So if you see any errors in red color, just ignore it and let the process complete. Now once done, close this window. Now open Microsoft Store or Xbox app and then try to install the launcher. Now the next step is to repair and reset gaming services. So go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now go to apps. And then click on apps and features. In the search box, type in gaming services over here. So type in gaming services. And then in Windows 10, simply click on gaming services and then you will see the advanced option. In Windows 11, click on this three dots, then click on advanced options. Now scroll down here, you can see the repair option. So click on repair. And once the repair is done, try to install the launcher. If that does not resolve the error message, then click on reset. Then again click on reset and once the reset is done, open Xbox app or Microsoft Store and then try to install the launcher. Now the next step is to make sure gaming services and Xbox identity provider is installed on your computer. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. Now it will take you to Microsoft Store website. And over here you will see Xbox identity provider. Click on get. It will prompt you to open Microsoft Store. So click on open Microsoft Store and it will open Microsoft Store. And then if this is not installed, you will see the option to click on install or get option. So install it. In my case, it's already installed. Now uninstall gaming services for this copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell, then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here. 
hit the enter key now this will uninstall gaming services once done copy this command this command is also provided in the video description paste it on the same window hit the enter key now this will open microsoft store on your computer and here you can see the install option click on install click on yes to allow now this will start downloading gaming services once the download is complete now you can open xbox app or microsoft store and then try to install the launcher now the next step is to run ws reset command so type in ws reset in windows search box and then click on ws reset now this will open this black screen do not close this black screen this black screen will go away and it will open microsoft store now here you can see the black screen is gone and it's opening microsoft store now you can try to install the launcher now the next step is to run windows store troubleshooter for this go to the start menu then click on settings now go to system if you have windows 11 click on system then you will see the troubleshoot option if you have windows 10 click on update and security then you will see the troubleshoot so click on troubleshoot now click on other troubleshooters scroll down at the end here you can see windows store apps in windows 10 simply click on windows store apps and then you will see the option which says run the troubleshooter click on it and in windows 11 click on run over here and once the troubleshoot is complete restart the computer and then install the launcher next step is to reset xbox app and microsoft store you can reset and repair so type in xbox app in windows search box and then make a right click on xbox app then click on app settings now this will open windows settings and scroll down here you can see the repair option so click on repair and once the repair is done you can install the minecraft launcher if still you are receiving the error message then click on reset reset and after the reset open microsoft store or xbox app and then install the launcher do the same thing with microsoft store so type in microsoft store in windows search box make a right click on microsoft store then click on app settings this will again open windows settings now scroll down here you can see the repair option so click on repair now once the repair is done open store or xbox app and then try to install the launcher still you're receiving the error message then click on reset reset and after the reset open store or xbox app and install the launcher now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall xbox app for this type in xbox app in windows search box make a right click on xbox app then click on uninstall again click on uninstall now after the uninstall open microsoft store on your computer and in the search box type in xbox app and then click on xbox app and in reinstall the xbox app and once the xbox app is installed try to launch the xbox app and then try to install the launcher do the same thing with microsoft store so to uninstall microsoft store copy this command this command is provided in the video description type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow paste the command hit the enter key now this will uninstall microsoft store from your computer and then restart the computer and after the system restart copy this command and then again open powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell run as administrator click on yes to allow now paste this command this will reinstall microsoft store on your computer and now you can open store and then try to install the launcher now the next step is to start all these services so type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find ip helper in the list make a double click on ip helper set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find xbox services here you can see four xbox services at the end make a double click on each xbox services set it to automatic apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok again set it to automatic apply start if highlighted then click on ok again set it to automatic apply start then click on ok 
set it to automatic apply start okay now find windows update make a double click on windows update set it to automatic apply click on start if highlighted then click on okay now find gaming services make sure gaming services are running if it's not running make a right click then click on start if it's already running then stop it and then restart the service once again again make a right click stop and then restart the service make a right click then click on restart or start make sure gaming services are running now find microsoft store install service make a double click and then set it to automatic apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now open store or xbox app and install the launcher now the next step is to run inetcpl.cpl command so type in inetcpl.cpl and then click on inetcpl.cpl now go to the advanced tab scroll down here you can see use tls 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.3 make sure all of four are checked then click on apply okay now the next step is to rename windows apps and wp system folder now to rename wp system folder open file explorer on your computer go to this pc open d drive now over here you can see wp system when you try to rename it you won't be able to rename it because you will receive some kind of error message that you are not allowed now so make a right click on wp system folder and then select properties go to the security tab we will go ahead and take the ownership of this folder so go to security tab and then click on advanced now click on change over here and then type in everyone over here everyone and then click on check names then click on ok now put a check on the box which says replace owner on sub containers and objects and then click on apply ok 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 and then again make a right click on wp system folder select properties once again go to the security tab once again click on advanced once again now this time click on add over here and then click on select a principal now type in everyone once again and then check names ok now put a check on the box which says full control and then click on ok apply ok okay so now you can rename it make a right click then click on rename rename it as wp system dot old now still your face problem in that case you can go ahead and restart your computer and then try to rename it once again open file explorer and then go to this pc open d drive then make a right click on windows apps and rename it now before rename you have to take the ownership make a right click then click on properties go to security tab advanced now click on change over here type in everyone in the box now click on check names then click on ok now put a check on the box which says replace owner on sub containers and objects and then click on apply ok ok again ok again make a right click on windows apps select properties security tab advanced and this time click on add select a principal everyone check names ok put a check on the box which says full control ok apply ok ok now make a right click on windows apps and then click on rename and then rename it as windows apps dot old now while renaming it if you receive any kind of error message which says file is open in that case open task manager on your computer make a right click on the start menu click on task manager now if you find gaming services make a right click and then click on end task and also open services over here and then go to services and find gaming services make a right click on gaming services click on stop so in my case it's not running so let me go ahead and yeah so make a right click then click on stop again make a right click and then click on stop make sure gaming services is not running and then you can go ahead and try to rename is at as windows apps dot old once the rename is done make a right click and then start the service
Now, if nothing is working, you can download Minecraft Launcher from Minecraft website. So, open this link in a browser. The link is provided in the video description. Here, you can see the option which says download for Windows 10 and 11, 10 or 11. So, click on download. And once the download is complete, run this exe file and then install the launcher. But still, you are receiving the error message. Still, you are unable to install. In that case, you can download for Windows 7 and 8. So, for many users, downloading windows 7 or 8 version has fixed the problem so click on download over here and then run this file and then install the launcher so this windows 7 and 8 version should definitely work so this has worked for many users so it might work for you so one of the steps should help you to get rid of this error when installing minecraft launcher on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel